Iran just fired 180 missiles at Israel. This is a big milestone in biblical prophecy. I'll tell you in this video what this means for us today and what's going to happen to the US. But first, subscribe to this channel so I can help you understand the Bible. It's more important now than ever before in light of what's going on in the Middle East. I don't know politics. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes and I hate conspiracy theories. So how do I keep getting it right? How did I predict correctly a lot of the things happening right now in Israel? I'm a Bible expert and I know biblical prophecy. No, I didn't know Hamas would attack on October 7th. But why did I say four years ago that Hamas would do a massive attack? Biblical prophecy. And when all the nations were supporting Israel, I stand with Israel. I said on this channel that they would reverse and stand against Israel. This was before all those pro-Palestinian protests and I was criticized for that video. How can I say that? How did I know the world would condemn Israel for that attack on Gaza? According to Psalm 83, 4, the world nations will say, let's destroy Israel as a nation. They're gonna form an alliance between Edom, which is Palestinians, Moab, Arab nations, Lebanon, Verse 8, even Assyria has joined the alliance, the Bible says. This is important for today. Because do you know what Assyria in biblical language is? Assyria is Iran. Look it up. Iran is biblical Persia. And in the book of Esther, Haman of Persia tried to wipe out Israel. The Jewish holidays are actually prophetic. That's in a future video, so subscribe. But the last festival is called Purim celebrating how God saved Israel from the Persian Jewish Holocaust. So the prophecy is, when there's another threat of a Persian Jewish Holocaust, that's the end of history, as confirmed by the book of Revelation. People criticized me for saying this last year, that Iran will join the conflict and send missiles over to Israel, which just happened yesterday. Now let me tell you what's happening in the future. According to Ezekiel 38, Russia will join Iran in the conflict. So when you see Russian weapons in Iran, you know it's the end. According to Bible prophecy, Israel is going to lose everything and her enemies will surround Jerusalem. But before Jerusalem is completely destroyed, Jesus will return in his second coming. So right now, Israel must fight back for its survival. But I also know Israel will not succeed. I don't know how or why, but Israel will be alone. Right now, the US is protecting Israel. So let me tell you right now what's going to happen to the US. According to Bible prophecy, the US will no longer be a world power. I don't know how or why, but I have some theories. Now this is not biblical, it's just my theory based on what I, I'm seeing what's going on. If Trump does not become president, the US economy will crash and the borders will not be secure. With the weak president, the enemies and the terrorists will attack the US, maybe even nuclear. And the new administration will not support Israel, or maybe they can't, because of a weak military and a huge financial deficit. Kamala will turn the US into a poor country, like the fall of the Roman Empire. Israel will stand alone and Iran and Russia will attack Jerusalem. If Trump is re-elected president, we have at least four more years before all this happens. But regardless of who becomes president, Syria will join the conflict. Israel will retaliate and bomb the heck out of Damascus. The Bible says in Isaiah 17 that Damascus will be hit so bad that it will be uninhabitable. I'm just telling you before it happens. Okay. I want to help you learn the Bible for yourself and draw closer to God. So subscribe to keep up to date. Jesus is coming soon. And if you're not sure you're going to heaven, check out this video right now. And I want you to comment below what you think is going to happen next.